Hello from my fellow players and welcome to Deep Root Manor, an RPG horror game about the disappearance of your sibling in an abandoned manor. It looks like it's deep rooted from the get go. Dear Diary, this has been one hell of a day. My brother has gone missing. Nobody saw him after this morning, and nobody has any idea where he could be. It's kind of like an RPG Maker game. Seems like he got up early and left the house, leaving just some crumbles in the kitchen. Just yesterday, though, he told me about a rumor he heard at school. You can find this game down in the description. Oh, he heard that somewhere in the woods near our home, there's a huge abandoned mansion. Creepy stuff. So we've kind of gone into Ao Oni over again. I know that brat all too well. I knew from the tone of his voice when he told me that story that he went to find and explore that building just for the sake of it. I told those exact words to my parents, but they said it's just childish rumors. Explain his disappearance, though. I told the policeman, but they didn't take me seriously at all. And now everybody is just wasting their time. They haven't got a clue. What if something happened to him? What if he can't come back? I'm fed up now, and as I wrote this, I'm waiting for my parents to lower their guard to sneak outside. Really now, dear protagonist. I know the wood paths, and there really is a mansion deeper inside it. I'm gonna find it, and I'm gonna find my brother. Very nice introduction to the game. Richard, please be safe. So that's my brother then. That's the little brother that we're searching for. So who are we then? The older sister slash brother? Older sibling at least. My beard. Ooh, look at this. Comes me a little bit of Super Paper Mario. Those statues there. As I was trying to say earlier, there's a link in the description below where you can purchase this game for yourselves. Where are we? In this. How do we get through? Oh, there's a hole in the fence there. That's how we got through into this garden. How come I've never heard of this mansion in the middle of the woods? If Richard has seen this place, there's no way he didn't sneak in. I have to get inside, somehow. Somehow we would, wouldn't we now? Lamp there. So the, um, the movement controls are like RPG Maker. Um, but what are the other commands of the game? Okay, so we've got Diary. Let's read the diary then. Oh, the diary is a map. Lovely. So we're technically outside at the moment. Cool. Let's so have a basic idea of what the controls are like. I can't reach the window. Goodness sakes, why can't we do such things? How do we run? My number one concern. How do we sprint? Definitely not cap locks or the windows, anyways. Looks like an old statue of a knight. The moss is covering the front plaque. So we can't see what it says. Deep root is reminiscent of all the greenery around here. It shows that it's not going to go anywhere. Looks like an old statue of a knight. The text on the front plaque is unreadable. So even if it's not covered up, we can't actually read it because it is indecipherable. We cannot see what it says. What about this? An old plaque. 
The name has been scratched up. We can't even find who owns this mansion then. Definitely is quite abandoned if you ask me. But I bet that's open. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Completely jammed figures. This place must have been abandoned for a long time, I guess. Whatever way there is. Though the lights are on. That's strange. Let's see. If I was Richie, how would I get inside? How would one get inside? Hmm, the light's wrong, but it's still pretty dark inside. I can't see much. Ooh, there's the vine there, though. Hmm, sturdy vines, yeah. I could probably climb those up, no problem. Yeah, we'll climb up. We'll climb up. Now, the other thing that's just come to mind is how do we save the game? Can't go through here. The roof collapse. Oh, sorry, the roof collapse. Oh, good dog gear. Yeah. Just like the ones on the ground floor, the window is too high. Grow a few inches and you may be... Well, that was unexpected. Is that the intro to the... Oh, that is the intro to the game. Okay, dokie. I thought there was a game over there. We have to find a different way through there. I would say that broken window looks sufficient, but obviously we found another way in. A much more unexpected way to get into the manor mansion. While we're here, wherever here is, inside this wonderful mansion. I also appreciate all the purple too. Well, at least I'm inside now. This place is falling apart. Jesus, what if Richard got hurt and he's stuck in here? I need to find him and get the hell out of this place together. And soon you will become nothing but a, a memory. A small table with a lamp on it. There's a note here. We shall read the note. I came back early from my daily walk. You'll find me in my study. Once you read this, bring me a glass of fine wine. Is that how we save the game or progress through the game? As you can probably tell, folks, I'm always very, very keen on finding out how to save progression in the game. But it was locked from the other side. Hmm. Cool, 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 cool. Hmm. What? There's a... Oh, that's just a reflection for me. Okay. But then again, that door doesn't have a handle on it, so I wonder why that's on the floor. A bit mysterious. If the last time I played a non-RPG Maker game that's a horror one was, um... It was a, what I would call impossible under normal circumstances. If that means not trying to practice on the game for about 24 hours straight, just to try and find the best strategy, or even a strategy that would work. Forgotten the name of it now, it features a red-haired girl whose brother was kidnapped and her mother was corrupted. Uh, I've forgotten its name now. I covered it. Well, I covered some of it. Uh, very early this year, I think. Seems like this door is completely jammed. Um, forgotten the name of it. Oh, it's clear. That's the one. C L E A. And to be honest, I did not like the difficulty of that game whatsoever. I found that game just impossible. Looks like a picture of a big factory. I mean, unless if I have a whole week of spare time, which under certain conditions you'd think I would have, I don't. That's completely jammed. I have other things to do aside trying to get through an impossible game. Right, let's go through this door then. Whoa, look at that. Look at this. Oh, there's a huge hole in the floor, isn't it? Unless we're actually out in, a, in like a garden. This is a treetop. The whole tree must be huge. And it's growing underground? All tree roots and foliage I've seen covering this place must be traveling through the walls from below. It probably was here already when the house was built. Why pick this place to build then? Or maybe the place was built first and then the vines came afterwards or the roots. This is strange. Really strange. I knew something was off of this house from the second I saw it. Still, my goal is just finding Richard. I'm positive he must be somewhere in this house. 
as they manage but it says house a stone slab with something engraved on it it reads fountain dedicated unreadable may unreadable in peace hmm so it's dedicated to a person because it is dedicated to something or it could even be a particular event guess the fountain is completely lost thanks to this tree wait this is a tree i thought that was literally a huge hole in the ground oh yeah i'm guessing it is a tree because of the green pixels on the screen an old statue nothing remarkable about it i can't see the front plaque from here though it's got a unique kind of art style to it i really like it i really really like it this way this way is completely collapsed there's no getting around not at all hmm that looks suspicious maybe that's the door that collapsed oh my god that looks like a monster what is that thing oh my gosh Looks like some sort of carnivorous plant, but the teeth are really big and sharp. And that fiend on the right looks way too close to a human arm. I think we'd best get away from it, if I were you. Stop investigating it. Put me investigated from afar. What? 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 What the heck? It's got something in it. It's holding an old rusty key. Whatever it is, it's not moving. Well... I'm still worried about... If we cannot save so far, we'll just lose all our progress. I'm just going to back off for a moment. I'm not sure if you're going to kill us if we try to take the key. So, I'm just going to leave you be for a moment and see what else there is in this mansion. Manor. House. I will come back to you, though. Just not right now, when I don't know how to save. Well, that door's completely jammed, so we can't go through there. This tree root is enormous. What in the world? That tree from the courtyard has such huge roots. Just how tall is it? In any case, it's obstructing the corridor. I can't go past it. How can we get past it? We could just simply climb over it, but that's too simple. That's too simple of a solution to be able to get over that root. The root of the problems always run deep. So what else is there to this, this place? I believe that's completely locked. How do we save the game? Oh, we've already read that. You'll find what? You'll find me in my study. Okay, so maybe that is an instruction for us to abide by, or maybe it will lead us to our demise. An antique table. It's there's just a broken lamp on top. How dare they? Well, that's broken. The door's locked from the other side. Okay, so we can only unlock it from that side. Ooh, okay. Clock. A grandfather's clock. It ticks, but the hand is not moving. It seems that a pivot is just a screw. Well, isn't that just wonderful? Um... I thought that was literally knocking on my table there. That's quite good. Quite good sound design there put into it. It sounded like it was coming from below. Now it's coming from my right ear. That's why you always should wear headphones, folks, whenever you play games. Not only can you tell that there's sound there, but the direction of the sound too. A framed picture of some vineyard in the countryside. The door's locked. Another thing as well is that this game could just have an autosave function, but we're not a huge portrait of some fat person, but shred in pieces. I can't make out the figure. Hmm. That's not openable. And that is a gigantic gap. Before collapsing, the vines don't look robust enough to climb safely down. Yep, they do not, most certainly. So we'll, should j we'll just... We'll just go elsewhere. Like, there's no... Uh, oh. I don't know why, but I literally thought that we could not, for the life of us, go past this, which is why I was going around it. Or oh, maybe I already have, but I just did not recognize that at first. So, let's just... Actually, is there anywhere else? Locks from the other side. Okay, what about this one down here? Oh, oh, I unlocked the door. Okay, that's quite handy. 
So we unlocked it from that side. Nice. Excellent. So are, are there any other passageways like this? Not that one, to say the least. Door's completely jammed. That lamp is not working properly. Looks like a picture of a big factory. A big facility, if I must see so myself. Hmm. Completely jammed. There's no way we're getting through that door, folks. Right, we're going to bite the bullet, and if we die, then I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do. This thing is unsettling. It's definitely a plant, but also looks somewhat human. Yeah, we've already been through it. Even if it looks dead, it's firmly attached to this window. Oh yeah, I did not notice the blood on it. Which is why I thought it may still... Oh yeah, and it's in as a kind of out. So maybe we can grab it. We'll grab it. Yeah, we'll take the key. Rusty key obtained, okay. Oh. Is it going to change? Do we need to run away? Oh. What's happening now? Well, looks like it's dead. Don't count on it! Do not count on it! It might be holding that key for a firm reason. But we've only got one key. One key. For all eternity. One key. Would you go away, Steam Pop-Ups? Looks like it's locked from the other side. No, I won't sing. YouTube picks up whenever you sing. And it is really horrible. So, no thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. So, are any of these doors locked? Let's see. Rusty key. Examine. An old rusty key. It has something engraved on the back. First floor library doors. Now, where this game was developed from, the bottom floor could be the first floor, or the floor we're on right now could be the first floor. May never know. Okay, that door's locked, so let's use this then. Yay! Well, it looks like that worked just fine. Lovely, doubly. Is there a save? Oh, that could be a save point. Well, it is a study after all. Uh, if we can actually get there in the first place, that would be great. Hmm, one of the books on the shelf has a bookmark in it. The Obscure Plants Life of Planet Earth. Hosted by David Attenborough. I only, re I only saw... Say it, David Attenborough, because it says Planet Earth. Read, absolutely. Let's see what's so important about this page. Being the second largest kingdom, it is quite easy to picture that. As of the writing of this book, only a fraction of plants have been discovered and properly catalogued. But of course, the author of this wants to know every single kind of plant that there is in the universe. But what if we were to tell you that, contributing to this phenomenon, new kinds of plants are born in and growing, each one as unique as humankind? Lacking a common denomination, the author of this book will refer to such specimen by the term Imperadix. Keep reading. While tales and yearns abound across all continents, concrete reports of such plant life have started to be written down from the um, 15th century and found in the following centuries. Born from humankind through a process that the author will not disclose by moral decency, these creatures will be the missing link between our two kingdoms. What on earth do you mean by two kingdoms? If only they abide the laws of nature. Accounts over the empiratics vary, but one feature is commonly shared. It is always at the centre a cautionary tale of ten past by generations. This infamy is born from the uncannily belief of plant life violently reacting when meeting humankind. A complex will, an indomitable force, often unruly carnal desires. We'll keep reading. The wilderness of nature meets human desires under the guise of a common perennial on this note. The tales spinned over the centuries quoted above have distorted such harmless looks into boogeymen. We're going to the boogeyman again? 
Where is Keith Baring? It is often believed that the common green man motives are originated from such myths, while Imperial Radix derives from unholy origins. I must have mentioned that phrase now at least three different different ways. <laughs> Aside from appendix motions, they resemble but plain green life. Resemble but plain? Yet, this creature defies nature. It is closer to demons than anything else. A plant that looks like a demon. For all that is sacred, we will not we'll discuss the Empyre Radix more than needed in our book. Well, that was long to get through. Hmm, this bookmark though. It has three holes in it. That's peculiar. Well, won't hurt to don't take it with me. Bookmark obtained. Hell yeah. Lovely. A tall bookcase. Judging from the title of the spine covers, they're all about folklore. How would you know that? Folklore again. The vines are pretty sturdy. I can climb down this hole without worries. Climb down it. Lovely. Climb down it. There's a light on top of this crate. We will take it. Light obtained. I'm guessing we will need some um, fuel for it though. Bunch of small closed crates. Are there any mechanics towards this though? Examine. A small silver lighter. It has enough fuel in it for two uses. Okie dokie. A big closed crate. Okay. That is absolutely fine. I imagine we... No, not for lighting, but I imagine we can... I unlock the door. I imagine we can use it to burn vines. Hmm. <laughs> the vines are way too high up for me to climb up this hole. There's always a twist and a turn to all this. I'm guessing the save is auto. Because there's absolutely no way that we found a safe spot at this point in time. Within the game. Bookmark. Examine. A brown bookmark. It has three small square holes on it. There's a written note on the back. Beneath bed. Okay. I don't think we've found a bed so far. If there was a bed, would it be in a study? That is always a big question. Where are things in this world? I'm really liking the game so far. Like it's got a certain level of puzzles and mystery to it already. Well, that's completely jammed, or locked actually, so we need to find a way to get across there. Hmm... I think we may need to use the lighter to burn something, rather than light the way. We don't, don't want to climb back down. Hmm... Yeah, I'm only going with the fact that we may need to burn that tree root. I don't think the tree would be happy though. It's like cutting off one of your fingers. No thank you. Hmm. Lighter use. No way this big root can be scratched in the slightest by this lightest flame. Really? Have you not even tried using it? Anywhere else within the garden that I can go about? Go about on my merry way. This tree top broke through some kind of fountain. I can't even see how far it goes down. Okay. Righty, so we've got those. Oh, wait, hold on. Completely collapse. There's no getting around. Okay, so maybe... Doesn't seem like this light has much fluid in, left in it. I better try to save it for when it's really necessary. Okay. What about trying to burn this monster? No matter how creepy it looks, it's still definitely a plant. Guess I can try to burn it. Burn the plant. Well then. Sheesh! That burned out real fast. Well, we can go in there. Lovely! We found a new route, guys! We found a brand new route! I'm guessing the game just also saves. I'm going to shut up about saving now. <laughs> I just want to know how to preserve my progress, that's all. Seems like the door is completely jammed. Jammed door. Oh, we're back here. 
We're back on this. Uh, the door's locked. Well, it feels like there's some kind of mechanism holding it back. So what you're saying is it's not completely jammed. It is just locked in another way. And we've got to figure out how to do that. Oh, that bathtub is completely filled with something. The bathtub is filled with some green blank that's gargling. I better not touch it. If you don't know me, then I'm not a big founder of saying profanity. Don't mind it in the game because it has a unique expression to the dialogue, but not, not saying it. The toilet has no water in it and it's empty. So if you're a developer out there, don't be discouraged by not putting swear words in the game. As long as it actually has some meaning to it. Like, this green water is probably is what the, the character's describing it as. So it runs well. Speaking of something that doesn't run well, no running water, <laughs> as expected. Oh dear. A high window. Can't see anything outside. Like, don't use swear words just like you would say hello to somebody. A big wardrobe. Open. Oh, what's inside there? There's a screwdriver stuck inside. We'll take the screwdriver. That'll be useful. This wardrobe's wing is jammed. Uh, screwdriver? Examine. A star head screwdriver. This could come in handy. Uh, okay, I did not mean to open the diary, but at least we could probably see where we are. Okay, it tells you exactly where... No, not exactly where you are, but kind of roughly whereabouts you are within the house. Use. Not sure how to do this. Okay, so it's not used for that door. Maybe it is. Maybe we're just not looking at it hard enough. The door's locked. Could we use a rusty key on it? Use. The key won't fit this door's lock. Okay, so maybe it's only used for one particular door. One particular door, and only one particular door. This fat root is keeping the door behind it falsely closed. God damn it, root. If you really study the roots of this house, you can tell... Okay, maybe that's a bad joke. Oh, but we're on another floor. Another floor, which is good. No light is shining through the window. And it's too high to peek outside. Peekaboo. The door's locked. Though, it feels like there's some kind of mechanism holding it back. I can't find any use for this right now. Okay. We will just leave you be, then. How do we save? <laughs> a small statue of a rabbit. Cute. Examine it. The statue is small and not fixed on the ground. Maybe I could push it out of the way. Also, the head seems a bit loose. Looks spinnable. That's interesting. But let's examine where it could go first before just simply pushing it. A short table. Nothing interesting. Okay, there's... Oh. Who are you? Oh my gosh. You look a bit disfigured. An eerie wooden doll. It's rather large. The left arm is held together by a screw. Ooh. Let's take it off. Let's take it off. Don't come to life here. Well, there's a screw to join the doll's left arm to the body. I could unscrew it with a screwdriver. Would we'll unscrew it. Wooden peg obtained. I thought there might be something. Sure, take away that arm. It's broken anyway. What the heck? What the fidget spinner? And I'm right handed anyway. <laughs> okay, so that was your left. Your left that we took. Am I hearing things? I keep forgetting talking dolls are uncommon. Let me start over then. Hello, pretty miss. I... I am Groot. No, I am a talking doll. There. Is that better? Uh, okay. Sure. Why not? Creepy mansion in the woods got a talking doll in it. Makes sense. You could ask the talking doll if it has seen a particular person named Richard. Now, since I am kind of enough to lend you my hand, you could give me a reason for your presence here. Are you trespassing haunting for occult artifacts? Or are you a plant enthusiast? Oh, I'm looking for my younger brother. Name's Richard. Short. 
Red hair. Oh, you're his sister. Confirmed gender. Yes, have you seen him? Nope. Didn't come in here. Oh, are you sure? It's no surprise. Many have entered this house. I know none who has left. Sooner or later, they are found by a witch. Uh, witch? Wicked old witch. I see. Oh, we can ask about information. Ask about Richard. Sure you haven't seen my brother. I don't really move around that much. Before you woke up, I probably slept for days. Do you have any idea where he could be inside this place? If he was caught by a witch, he's probably trapped beneath the mansion. Quite some free space to keep intruders in down there. Be aware if you ever meet witch. She's sly, and she'll speak sweet and soft to lure you into a false sense of security. Into security, I mean. But it is a false insecurity. But sooner or later, down you go. I see. So if anybody is very nice to us, let's just be weary. Ask about which. So, this witch. I take it she's dangerous. You bet she is. Look at this place. It's her fault this mansion is fallen apart. What happened? Oh, I wasn't there when it happened. I believe she hexed to death the previous owner and snatched it. But I was carved from wood by her quite some time after. She made you. Oh, how she craved for a daughter. She whelp and whelp. All those tears got into my wood, made me fat around the hips. And she's dangerous, you said. Her actions speak by themselves. But she's also a, reclu a, a reclusive mistress. She keeps herself in the shadows. You have any idea where she is? Who knows? Oh, but surely she's always watching you. And I hope for you to never meet her. Don't you know any way to counter her? Well, there is a way to counter her magic. At the end of the day, you're probably not going to be able to escape this place without doing so. There's a species of mushrooms that, when eaten, will keep you free from her control. They're on the ground floor. That sounds too good to be true. That's exactly why I doubt there are any left. You're not the first visitor, pretty miss. Can you tell me where they should be on this map? You're probably late, but sure. Alright, thanks. Ask about plant life. Out in the inner courtway, I've seen some strange plant life. Looks like it has a human arm. What the hell is that? Plant life. Plenty of that around the house, as you can probably tell by the greenery. It has been abandoned for quite a while, allowing nature to take over, obviously. Yeah, but that was no regular plant life. That was some kind of monster how judgmental are we pretty miss from us it may look like monsters but to them we're probably the monsters since we are the ones that burned it exactly it was big it was sharp teeth it could have been a carnivorous plant but it looked ripped apart and and had a human arm on it like it had eaten a human N no I mean that it literally had a human looking arm. Did it speak to you? No, it was dead. What? No. I'm pretty positive it was dead. A shame we can't ask him then. Alright. Alright. Do you happen to know anything about the huge tree growing underground? I believe the simple explanation is that the house was built above it back when it was way younger. That would make this mansion way older than it looks. Too old. That tree must be huge below. It is. Tree roots are growing everywhere, moving through the walls. Some ends up on the floor, the first floor. Don't you know more about it? For that, you need to ask which. Something that I hope for your sake will never happen. So that witch might have something to do with that tree. 
in Messy Edda. Unless there's a more plicitary factor involved, then we're good. A small golden crucifix. Looking at this makes me feel like I'm safer. It gives me a weird feeling. Oh, oh, yes, that is exactly what I was looking for. A way to save the game. Okay, perfect, folks. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect. A small window that allows me to peek outside. Seems like there's a back garden. No way I can pass through this, though. Richard, maybe. Yes, if you're small enough. A small dresser. And it's got in it. All empty. Save for dust and cobwebs. Hmm. In alchemy, cobwebs can also be used as a material. Cobwebs are very sturdy, after all. So we need to find somewhere where we can push this rabbit. There's... It seems too silly to just push it in one direction and just hope that it doesn't do anything bad. That's the previous floor. I don't think we can... Okay. Mechanism. Mechanism. That door is held by a mystique mechanism. Door's locked. Hmm... The other thing I'm intrigued by is that you can also twist the head on the rabbit. There's a gap through there. It's a bit too high to drop down from here. I wonder if you push the rabbit from here down to there. But there's a possibility. I think, anyways. Oh. Twist head. Hmm. Push. I mean, examine. A small slash of rabbit, the head can be twisted. Uh, push. Hmm. Damn, it looks like, it looks like, but somehow it's too heavy to be pushed. Um. Could we unscrew it? Wouldn't, I don't think a wooden peg would make any kind of use there. It's not working at all. What about a particular direction? This is not looking right. Maybe if we looked left, then that would be better. I'm not sure how to do this. Um, nope, not the diary again. This diary, dear diary, I don't know what to do. Rabbit. Wooden peg use. No, okay, so that's just a bunch of different dialogue. Examine. A wooden peg. It's a median length. Cylindrical piece of wood. It was originally a doll's arm, but I guess I could find some good use for it. Yeah, probably good. Probably, probably good. So if it's light enough to move, but it somehow is still too heavy to move... Then we'll need an additional pair of arms, probably. Right, we're in the study area. A tall bookcase, nothing useful, just a bunch of fictional novels. What about this book here? I think there's some classics of literature up there, but they're too high to read the titles. Okay, so we can't read that book. The book that is there. We had a long, detailed book over on the other side, but not this side. Mm, doors locked. Damn it. Again with all these locked doors. Shattered pages. Nothing peculiar here. They just so show some statues. Probably comes from a book about art. I thought that would be in relation to the rabbit statue that we saw earlier. Maybe. Just. Maybe. A huge number of expensive looking books. Mostly in literature in the corner. There's an antique narrative poem. And we can't even read it. Hmm. On this lower shelf, there are a few horror stories. What about this here? There's a black book sticking out from the rest, sitting on this shelf. No title. It looks like some kind of occult tome. We'll take it. Occult tome obtained. We may need it for something. But if a witch discovers that it's disappeared, then she'll know that there's some other entity in the house. Us being that other entity. A scanner page seems to have come from a carpentry book. Nothing catches my attention. Probably because you're not interested in carpentry, girl? 
Hmm. No, because then we'll be stuck down there and we won't be able to get back down there. Speak of going down there, how do we actually get down to that part so we can we can see the book down below? Probably the best way forward at some point. Okay, maybe going up here would be the best way forward. Going up here. A bookcase filled with mundane sounding books about plants. Plants. There's one on bugs. Um... I'm not going to try and pronounce those in other scientific names. I'm sure there's a plantologist down in the comment section below on how to pronounce those words. And if you can do that, then thank you. I'm joking. There's a tiny book pulled half out. Seems to be about local plant life. We shall read it. Um, someone must have been interested in this. A page has been ripped in half. One unique and dangerous kind of flora that flourishes in these words is the Anatia papora, affectionately known as M G, have been have a worrying characteristic of easily rip that causes anomalies. I don't know how to finish that sentence there. Not one bit. A tall bookcase. Judging from the titles of the Spine Cooks books, are all about music. The Spine Cooks. What am I going on about? The Spine Cooks. A few books on piano lessons. They look awfully old. Just like the age of the instrument themselves. But still, it doesn't matter how old something is, it's worth it. Music sheets. They're almost entirely dust, though. Just like it doesn't matter how long you've been subscribed to my or our beloved channel on. This giant bookcase seemed to have exclusively focused on books about wine. Can't believe there are so many and so old. But I think I'll pass on reading. Didn't somebody mention about wanting to need wine near the entrance of the manor? Or maybe that's for the witch actually. Can't believe there are so many pass on reading. About wine. Maybe one of these tiles is different from the rest. Is one of these different from the others? Or are they all the same? Many thought processes go through the mind of one. So many retracting from the rest. And only a few converge. But at the end of the day. Almost 100% of the thoughts themselves. Are just passing fleets. Just like. Everything that you see on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, you only really focus on a very, very small proportion of the total... Um, I forgot the word it's called now, but whatever you see in front of you, that's the most likely a bit of knowledge that you're going to take on to account. But even your peripherals, there's no chance you're able to detail exactly what your peripherals tell you. They're there. But you don't take them on board. Oh, hold on. Oh, we're actually on the floor above now. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so this is the floor above where I fought beforehand. Wait, this is the floor below. Well, aren't I silly? Well, the door is completely jammed. We're going to open it from this side. There's a rather old book gathering dust facing the other way. What about, okay, what about if I read it from this way then? Left open on the page. Read. The volumes need to be rearranged on the two shelves on top of the bookcase. The arrangements have to be specific, as the final result requires the following. If you were to take away two books from the lower one and put them on the other, you end up with twice the books above compared to below. Do the same with one more book and you would end up with three books per time is well, three times the books below. Place the volumes of these two requirements to be achievable and press the button for the pressure plates to unlock the side compartment. Right. My first problem is there are a multitude of different bookshelves in this entire manner. 
Which one are you referring about? Lots of books about economics. What's this? Tougher than toughies. Sharper than sharpies. Sounds like motivational stuff. Yeah, if you ask me. What? Oh, I can't push this slider any further than this. Could we try... Ah! Filled to the brim with religious books. Okay. We can push this. And we can find a book. A step is missing from the ladder. I can't... Oh! Hold on. We could use... I need to get off the ladder to check my stuff. Okay, um, I think the wooden peg will be used on the ladder. This wooden peg might fit for that missing step on this ladder. Heck yeah, boys and girls. Yep, it's good enough to make this ladder climbable. Well, we could just, I don't know, check it again. Nothing here but this lamp. The glass case is broken. The wires are exposed, so I can't touch it without risking to get fried. But what if I do want to get fried for good... Like, can't we inspect our stuff while on the ladder? Is that too hard to work out? I'm joking. A bunch of religious books are piled up on this shelf. They seem to be left here to be organized on the two shelves to the left. Why did that go twice? That was a thing. Oh, we automatically go all the way to the top. So there's no need to be pedantic about all this. Two empty shells. But there's a key behind bars and some books that could fit inside these two shells here. Hmm. Use a mouse to interact with puzzles. Okay, so we need to place... We need to have two books initially to be able to get into this. That looks like the virgin birth of Christ. I can't read the rest of these. And the rest of these are... I think... I think we need to look at our clues again. If we manage to see the meaning behind the clues, then we'll be able to do this. But I obviously need to do that first. Okay. So take away two books from the lower one and put them on the other. You know, twice the books. Are... Okay. So I think we need to put all the books on first, don't we? And then, from there, we'd then have to be able to take them away. No, it's not possible to, so we're going to have to empty. Um, what were the other clues? Do the same with one more book and you would end up with three times the books below. Hmm. Place the volumes of these two requirements to be achievable and press a button for the pressure place to unlock the side compartment. So the first clue says, if you were to take away two books from the lower one and put them on the other, you'd have twice books above compared to below. But how many would you have initially? Like it doesn't give you a numerical detail as to like how many you start off with. Do the same with one more book, and you'd end up with three times of books below. Now, there seems to be a riddle above it, about this, but I'm not getting from the clues that are initiated. So, what we're going to be doing, folks, is I'm going to be trying to figure this out in the... Oh, there's, oh, there's this ladder as well. Uh, nothing interesting up here. Cooking books. Okay. So, that's something that I need to figure out for the next time, folks. Great. Completely jammed door. Just what we needed, of course. Just what we needed. So there's something in that that I'm not getting. 
Because it says you need three times the books below. But how can you take one away when the only thing you can do is add on books unless you completely empty the shelves? So there's definitely a control aspect in there that I'm not getting. But we'll leave that, folks, for the next time of Deep Root Manor. So thank you all so much for watching, guys. And see you all in the next time of Deep Root Manor. Thank you all so much for watching and take care of yourselves.